Pacific tuna is threatened by overfishing more than ever before. After netting almost two and a half million tons of tuna last year, fleets from Asia, USA and Europe are on the prowl again. These industrial fleets don't just deplete tuna stocks, but indiscriminately haul in sharks, turtles and other marine life. They also deprive Pacific Islanders of food, livelihood and income. It's not like before we, plenty of times we see fish coming up, but now no more so we have to go further, far out. For several years now, Greenpeace has been exposing pirate fishing, overfishing and also wasteful fishing practices in the Pacific, such as the use of fish aggregating devices. Our activists have also confronted large tuna fleets at sea. At the end of 2008, the regional tuna management organisation agreed to stop tuna purse seining in two of our proposed marine reserves in international waters from 2010 onwards. But tuna stocks are still vulnerable now. Tuna stocks in other oceans have collapsed already. The same will happen here in the Pacific if fishing continues to be unregulated. For the Pacific tuna stocks to recover, the amount of fishing here in the region must be reduced by half. Fishing activities, including longline fishing, must be banned in the proposed protected areas and all areas of international waters located between the Pacific Island countries must be declared as marine reserves. This year, the Esperanza sails back to the Pacific to highlight the need for urgent management measures to prevent the collapse of tuna stocks and ensure that all marine life is protected in its ocean home.